Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through mail or in the comment section. As a continuation of that, in this video, we are going to see another interesting question. In fact, this question I have received in the previous video's comment section. First, let me explain what is the question is about. So the question is, we are provided with a string and we need to find this character that occurs second time. That is the first character that occurs second time. Let us understand with an example. Suppose if the input is banana. So here if you see B is the first character. It is not recurring anywhere. But A occurs first here. This is the second occurrence of A. Third occurrence of A. So this is first occurrence of N. Second occurrence of N. So here one rule he has mentioned is the character should occur only two times. So in this case, A is the one, sorry, N is the only character that occurs twice. So I'm just printing N. So let us understand with one more example. So here is another string like blueberry. First occurrence of B, here is the second occurrence of B. So here is the first occurrence of E, second occurrence of E. Similarly, like there are two occurrences of R. However, B is the character that occurs first. That is the second occurrence of B occurs first before any other occurrence of characters. Let's understand with one more example. So first occurrence of C, first occurrence of C, second occurrence of C, first occurrence of O, second occurrence of O. So C is the character that occurs even before O. So we just need to print C. Let's take one more example, mushroom. So here is the first occurrence of M. Here is the second occurrence of M. However, before the second occurrence of M, we have got the second occurrence of O. So we need to print the second occurrence that is the character that recurs first in a given string and the only rule is that particular character should recur only two times. If a character recurs more than two times or less than two times then we should exclude that character. For example in case of banana A occurs three times so we are not considering. We are considering only the character that recurs two times in that string. Okay. Now let me show you the logic what I am going to follow. In fact, this example can be implemented a different types of functionalities. So I am just going to take a functionality which is very easy to implement and for all the related scenarios you can use the similar approach. And one more very important point. Here I am just going to follow a procedural approach that is like first I am going to take a string and just go through the string and I am going to count each number of character. Then I am just going to see which particular characters recurs and which is the first occurrence of the second character. So all those things we are going to compute. So it is kind of a procedural implementation. But we are not going to write a procedure or a function. Instead, all these procedural implementations we are going to implement as part of the SQL. So that is the one important aspect of SQL. So this particular example will show us the power of SQL. Fine. So now, now let me show you the logic what I am going to follow so that it is very easy for you to understand the same implementation when we write using a SQL. Very first step what I am going to do is I am just going to convert this string into a row of characters and then I am just going to print the string as it is in each row and the third step I am just going to print the character position or the row number position. To convert a string into a row of string you can use the uh, logic explained in this video. So in this video I have explained how to convert a string into a row of string or like a pyramid structures. So the same logic we are just going to borrow from this video. Okay. Once we have converted this implementation the next step what I am going to do I am going to count the character in the string. For example in row number 1 the character is B. So I am just going to count the number of occurrences of B in the string blueberry. So there are two occurrences of B in the blueberry. So we are just going to count and we are going to print. To count the number of characters, exactly in the previous video, we have two different implementations. One is using regular expression count, another implementation using without regular expression count. You can use any of the method here. So the intention is to count the character B in the given string and take the count number. Say very similar to that in row number 2 there is a character called L. So we are going to count how many L present in this blueberry. So there are like only one L. Very similar to that U count the number of U. So there is one U. Very similarly count the number of E. There are two occurrences of E. So let us print 2. 
the next row number 5 anyway b we have already counted so it's like two characters of b so let us print two row number 6 two characters of e so let us print two row number 7 two characters of r so let us print two similarly row number 8 two characters of r let us print two and finally row number 9 one character of y let's print one now that what we have done is we just computed the number of characters in the string in each row okay our expectation is any character that recurs more than two times or less than two we are not interested for example in row number two character l occurs only once so we are not interested in that so let us exclude from our result set similarly row number three character u occurs only once so let us exclude from our result set very similarly row number 9 character y occurs only once so let us exclude it so if there is any other character that occurs more than two times also we can exclude anyway in this example we don't have any character that recurs more than two times so we have now got all the characters that recurs only two times so we have got b character e and character r okay now what i am going to do i am just going to give a position for each character that is the occurrence of b the first occurrence of b happens in the row 1 and the second occurrence of b happens in the row number 5 similarly first occurrence of character e happens in row number 4 and the second occurrence of character e occurs in row number 6 very similarly, the first occurrence of character R is in row number 7 and in the second occurrence of R happens in the row number 8. This we can compute it using the analytical functions. Fine. So now our intention is to find the second occurrence character that is the character that occurs second time. That is the first character that occurs second time. That means we are not interested in computing or holding the character that occurs first time. So we can exclude all the rows where that particular character occurs first time. For example, in the row number 1, character B occurs first time. So let us exclude that. Similarly, row number 4, character E occurs first time. Let us exclude that. Row number 7, character R occurs first time. That is the first occurrence of R. Let us exclude that. Now that we have got the rows, where we have got the characters occurs in the second position. That is, character B occurs second position in row number 5. Character E occurs in sixth position in row number 6. Character R occurs, that is the second occurrence of character R, occurs in the eighth row. So now, if we sort it by the character position, the first row will give the character that occurs second time that is the first character that occurs second time so our expected output is b now let me show you how to implement the same logic using sql so let's select blueberry let me make this capital blueberry from dual Let's give an alias like string rs. So I'm just going to make this as a with class because we are going to refer this in multiple places. So let me say with like data set as ds select string from ds. So we just got the string. Now what I'm going to do, I just want to replicate it nine times. For that I'm using the lateral join. Lateral select level l from dual connect by level less than or equal to length of yes so this repeats the string for nine times fine now what i'm going to do i'm just going to print the level information so this will get us the row number or the position of that character so now what we are going to do we just need to extract the character from each position for that we will use substring of string comma from the level position i want one character so we will get all the characters let us give aliases like c now what i'm going to do i'm just going to compute the occurrence of character for that we will use the regular expression regular expression count 
So in the given string, I want to count the number of occurrences of this character. So let us use the same sub substring functionality here so that we will get the count. Let's say this is count. So here we are not interested in count that is less, less than 2 or greater than 2. Basically we want the uh, character count or the character that occurs only two times. So let us just filter out here itself saying that where the count should be equal to 2. That means the occurrences should be equal to 2. So that by that way we will get only like character B, character E and character R. Fine. So we just got this information. Now we need to find the occurrence position. For that we will use the analytical function. So I am using row number over partition by the character. So character is nothing but the substring order by the position or the row number that is nothing but the level from inner query. So we got the first occurrence of B and second occurrence of B. So the first occurrence of B in row number 1, second occurrence of B in row number 5. Similarly first occurrence of E in row number 4, second occurrence of E in row number 6. Fine. So let us give this as like a position. So basically we want only the second occurrence. So let us exclude all the first occurrence. So let me make it as an inner query. Select star from. So let's say where position equal to 2. So by that way we can exclude all the uh, character that occurs in the first position. Fine. Now let us say order by position. So here we just need to pick the first record. Right. That is our intention. For that we can put another uh, inner query and we can say row num equal to 1 otherwise we can use the row limiting class also fetch first row only okay so by that way we will get our expected output is only the character so let's just extract the character now instead of blueberry let's give any other uh, string and let us test our sql let's say coconut so our expectation is c okay coconut c let's give mushroom 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 should return O. No, it's returning M. Okay. Order by it should be based on the position of the row. Our position is actually L. It should not be P. It is L. Okay. So it gave O. Let's test one more character. Let's say A, A, B, B, C, C. So here it should return A. Suppose if there is only one character of A, then in this case it should return B. Suppose if there is only one character of B, or let me move this B here. So in this case, the first occurrence, the first recurring character is C. So in this case, it should return C. Let's say I will put like K, L, M, K. So in this case, K, the first occurrence of K, here is the second occurrence of K. So in this case, the output should be K. So this is the query and it is very easy to implement because many similar or related functionalities, we can use this or we can implement this approach. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id. But before that, you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of the subscriber question series or as part of the interview question series. If you are not able to find your question here, please write back to me. I will be happy to record and post as a new video. If you have learned something new, please like this video. Subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. Thanks a lot for watching this video.